Hello everyone. Today's lesson will be about writing stories. Today, you will learn on how to bring your story to life. Stories contain description, action, and people. You can make the reader care more about what happens to your characters by making them come to life and seem real. Two ways to do this are by writing what they say or think and by describing how they feel. By the end of today's lesson, pupils will be able to 1. Write a story that contains vivid descriptions 2. Use suitable verbs, adverbs, and adjectives in your stories and 3. Use the plan on page 27 and phrases in the language bank to write your stories. How can we bring our characters to life? The first way is by writing what they say or think. This can be done by using verbs and adverbs. Pairing a verb and an adverb will make your story more lively. A verb states the action, and an adverb states how the action is being performed. For example, listen attentively, eat greedily, sleep soundly. Here's an activity from your textbook, page 26. Use a suitable verb and adverb to describe how the characters say something. Let's try number one together. She tiptoed into the old dark house. Hello, is anyone here? She screamed angrily? No. Shouted decisively? No. The answer is, she whispered nervously. Try the rest of the questions and you can check the answers in the description box below. Another way to make your characters seem alive is by describing how they feel. This can be done by using adjectives. Activity 2, page 26. Use a suitable adjective to describe how the characters feel. Astonished, relieved, desperate, terrified, exhausted. Spend some time to find the meaning of these words. Now, let's try number 1. Nick was I can't believe it, he said. The answer is Nick was astonished, meaning greatly surprised. For number 2, 3, 4 and 5, it's your turn to try. Good luck! The third way of making your stories lifelike is by using the five senses. The sense of sight, hearing, smell, taste and touch. Now, spend some time to read the story on page 27. As you can see, the writer used all kinds of senses like the sense of sight, smell, touch, hearing, and even taste. Activity 6. Imagine you are on a beach in the summer. Discuss each of the five senses. Write down some sentences using any of the five senses of your choice. I'm sure by now you have created amazing sentences of your own. Now you can read mine. This is a suggestion on how you can plan your story and structure your essay. For paragraph 1, it's where you set the scene and explain the given sentence. It's normally given in the question. For paragraph 2 and 3, you give more actions and descriptions about your story. And for paragraph 4, you end your story. However, this totally depends on the length of your story. You can have more body paragraphs if you plan to write longer. Read this question. We are looking for stories for our magazine. Your story must begin with this sentence. Anne knocked on the door of the house. She was determined to find out who lived there. Your story must include an old woman and a surprise. Spend some time to read the whole story. Let's look at what you need to do. 
First, you have to explain the situation. This can be done in the first paragraph. Next, you have to make sure that you fulfill the task requirement in the question, where you have to write about an old woman and a surprise. Next, you also have to use a lot of feeling words. It could be adjectives and adverbs like determined, nervously, hopefully, in panic, astonished, and happy. Here's the task that you have to do on your own. Can you write a story for our new magazine series? Your story must begin with this sentence. As Mark was about to throw away the old bottle, he saw that there was a piece of paper inside it. Your story must include a message or map and a surprise. You may use these notes here to help you out with your writing tasks. How to structure, some tips on how to write your story, and also some vocabulary that you can use in your story. Well, that's about it for today. I'm really looking forward to reading your stories. All the best.